Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, but we've also got energy that is quite elusive. It's uh, flowing and hard to pin down. But the thing is that for you, we've also got energy that provides a strong anchor. And in fact, this is energy that has been with you. It's Saturn and Pluto in your sign. It is gonna be these two planets that in surprising moments connect and bring a greater sense of structure and ultimately for you, stability as well. So let's start with the new moon early this month, right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. We are gonna have this month's new moon. Now this new moon will be reaching out in a conversation of tension with Neptune. The sun is in the same part of the sky as the new moon, also reaching out to Neptune. By the time we get to the 8th of June, that is when Venus is gonna move here and also move on to speak with Neptune before the month is out. Now all of this to me adds up to what otherwise could be rather confusing energy taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life. So this is your workplace and the people who surround you there and the type of work you're doing. But it's also your daily habits and your health related rituals. As I look at this, there may be confusion in terms of who is uh, being straightforward with you, who perhaps is not, where is it that you're getting accurate information and perhaps where you're not. There may also be confusion in terms of what it is that you want to do or are meant to do, and what feels right for you to do. There's also a sense here of wanting to know your way forward and wanting to know who is on your side, but even that feeling like an elusive prospect to try and figure out. Well, the great thing is, that these placements, as they reach out in a type of conversation that astrologers call a quincunx with Saturn and Pluto in your sign, it is ultimately you that will spearhead a greater sense of structure and a greater sense of understanding, of knowing how it is that you can actually turn what otherwise would be confusing into a solid set of facts and where it is that in a split second, where it feels as if you are not getting the right information, you are able to see through the illusion and see the truth. Now that is one of the more powerful promises of this month. The promise that you will see to the core of an issue, you will see beyond what it is that is being presented to you, you will understand the inner dynamics of what is playing out and you'll be able to be a force of transformation as a result. Trust the power that you have. You have had Pluto in your sign since 2008 and will have this energy for a few more years to come. Saturn entered your sign about a year and a half ago now. You're halfway through this extended cycle of having Saturn in your sign. And it is moments like this that will provide that greater sense of structure, that greater sense of ease, that greater sense of knowing. I feel as I look at this that you may be in some way called on to provide a sense of authority, to provide a sense of structure, and possibly in instances when you least expect it. When you feel like it's someone else's confusion to try and herd, to try and maintain, it is you that has to step into the picture to make sure that what needs to be understood is, and to make sure that you see a project or a client or an endeavor through to success. Now, as we navigate further into the month, right around the 18th, uh, we are gonna have a full moon. This full moon as well, speaking with Neptune in a conversation of tension. But this full moon is taking place in a very quiet part of your sky. It is the sign just before yours. It adds to that sense of elusiveness that Neptune is also bringing. But here's the thing. 
Neptune at this point will be standing still in the sky within days will go retrograde. And this magnifies the Neptunian energies that much more. I feel as I look at this that there's a lot going on in your soul. There's a lot going on in your psyche and spirit. But you may not be able to put your finger on it. You may not be able to explain it completely or to explain it well. But if you feel it, it is real and it is true for you. But the thing is that just when you think it's an intuitive understanding, you may come to realize that perhaps your own fears, whether it is a fear arising within you about what could happen for you and where it is that you may do well and may not, or whether it is fear of external circumstances, it could also be that, that is coloring your vision of what is possible and what is the right course of action to take. Now again, we've got those quincunxes. We've got the activation of Saturn and Pluto in your sign throughout this month at key moments that are gonna bring in a more measured perspective for you in a way that it might not for others. And that is why, and that affirms to me that you may be called to actually provide a greater sense of stability to the people around you. Now I do wanna add this, I mentioned with the new moon, with Venus and the sun, spending much of the month in the same part of the sky, having to do with your daily rituals, your health related habits as well are covered here, and any kind of uh, health appointments and testing that you may do. You are one of the signs, there are a few, a handful of signs this month who really should avoid, if possible, any kind of important health related tests. And that would be you, you would be one of those signs. So it would be a good idea, if possible, to delay that just a little bit, if it is that you have an appointment. Now, of course, sometimes you can't help it. You gotta show up, it's in front of you to do. And in that case, just go with the flow and know that you may need to get another opinion a little bit further down the road. The thing also, though, is that as Neptune goes retrograde, we are gonna have Mercury enter shadow next month going retrograde as well. So this is part of what is going to extend the sense of some confusion, but also a need of clarity that may not come instantly, but will in its own time. Now where it comes to matters of love, you've still got Mars moving through your opposite sign. That's one of the most powerful symbols for what is happening for you right now in the context of love, a real sense of wanting to connect with another, a motivation, if you will, a bravery, if you will, in terms of going out there to connect with new people, but also within your own bond to approach topics that may otherwise be difficult. You're up for the challenge. You're willing to fight for the relationship you have or the one that you want. If you are open to meeting someone new, we have powerful energy right out of the gate as we start this month. Thanks to Venus, Venus will spend the first nine days of the month moving through fellow Earth sign Taurus. This is beautiful energy for you for flirtation, for romance, whether meeting someone new or even just nurturing someone that you're just getting to know. And it is in the first days of the month that Venus will speak in supreme harmony with Pluto this is one of the more sensual days of the year and it allows you to feel that much more like you are enjoying connecting with others. Of course, with Mars and your opposite sign as well, you're motivated to connect and you're willing to put yourself out there to make that much more a meaningful connection. For those of you who are getting to know someone, again, you are starting the month with this beautiful energy of Venus and Pluto. I think that you will be carrying this forward. We also have for you um, Mercury in the first days of the month in your opposite sign, speaking in harmony with Uranus. This is gonna add a measure of delight, a measure of leaping into the future of what this connection could be if it started to move towards a relationship. That can be a lot of fun. At the same time with Mars in your opposite sign though, there is a real determination to see this through and to see where it is that this could go. For those of you who are in an established bond, I think that as much as we have these lighter, more sensual moments as we start the month, 
it really is Mars that is more the dominant energy in your opposite sign. It could be that there is a particular circumstance that you find yourself in now with your partner that is just requiring more of your energy, more of your time, more of your presence. And so it is going to be up to you to make sure you are practicing self-care. That's going to be an overall theme this month as well. But as long as you're practicing healthy self-care, then you will be able to be present with your partner, ultimately strengthening the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's got to be Saturn and Pluto in your sign. It is being activated in sometimes quick moments that ask you to look at your life, to look at your day, to make sure that you are grounded in your smallest moments, and to make sure that you are identifying truth and power for yourself and able to bring it in those very moments as well. And it is ultimately Pluto and Saturn that are going to invite you to bring a sense of not only structure, but also a powerful spirit of transformation to the people that you surround yourself with each and every day. And in this way, you will find yourself being a force of positive change in a way that changes you the most and for the better. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.